So let us think about what we do and fix our eyes on Jesus and ask him to forgive us. He will. He has died for our sins and says it is finished. So we thank God for sending his son, Jesus Christ. My name is uh, FM Ikane and um, I'm a member of uh, a Mission of Christ uh, Lutheran Church on Nighton Center and also I'm a vicar and uh, at the same time I'm a chaplain at a county correctional facility in South, in CCF South. Uh, uh, we kind of uh, have uh, a program set up uh, for our brothers in Christ in there. We have an uh, anger management class, uh, we have uh, ALDA, and then we have a uh, Bible study. This choir group is made up from the inmates there, you know. These are the, you know, that the brother in Christ that God has given a wonderful gift that um, they use their voice. It's amazing what this, our brother in Christ can do with their voice, praising God. We find out that a lot of them has not even been baptized. You know, some of them don't even know what a baptism means. So we do take them through this instruction class with a small uh, catechism. It kind of touched them. When I talk to them, the things that they share with me, you know, how they, you know, maybe lead into the crime that they committed is true that nobody cares about them. A year ago, my husband didn't have that faith. A year ago, a lot of things happened to change his whole way of thinking. Um, he went, he was incarcerated and it took him away from, from, from his family. A lot of people when they're incarcerated, they feel lost, they feel alone. They feel as though they deserve to be there. But that time that they're there is time of correction. But when he met Effa, Effa showed him a different door. He opened, I can say his heart. He opened his heart so he could hear God's word. Then I say, you know what? I'm here to bring you a good news, that God loves you. That God loves you when you are a sinner. And he loves you when you are a born again. We are able to, you know, baptize um, so many inmates, about over 200 uh, was baptized. I feel so good because of look at what the Lord has been doing. I'm not doing it. It's the Holy Spirit that is, um, you know, that is convincing them and uh, bringing them to, you know, to faith. So when they get released, they come to us, we give them the backpack. Uh, this is the backpacks that we hand out to the guys that just got released from the Milwaukee County House of Correction. This guy here, uh, last name Franks, he's formally released from the House of Correction. He's receiving his backpack through, uh, from the Milwaukee Metro Business Mission Society. These are the backpacks through uh, George Lesman uh, from the Milwaukee Metropolitan Mission Society. What is inside this backpack is um, it's like a full of hygiene products. Uh, we have Bible in there. This uh, helped them to start you know, life again, because some of them, think about it when they get released, they don't have nothing. So we provide all those things to help them to go and look for a job. We give them on the inside, you know, we give them this on the inside, then they, we come here and bring this, then Patrick or I, we hand them over the, the backpack and go through the Bible study with them. Remove the wicked from the king's present and his throne will be established through righteousness. So sometimes we have to remove certain things that, that's, that's in us, we have, they have to be removed. Patrick has used himself as an example when he reached out to this inmate on the inside. And he used himself as an example. He said, think about who you're seeing here right now. I'm a sinner just like you are. I've been in here before. 
But thank God, through the grace of God, look at what the Lord has done for me. I'm now a changed person. If I can do it, you can do it.